Divine Feminine, welcome back for uh, May 2023 update. Yes, we cover yours weekly as well as the karmic and divine masculine and the joint connection that is on premiere. If you do want this content ahead of the crowd, you can jump through and gain such through our VIP membership on YouTube. Without further ado, let's take a look at the cards and see what I see coming through for you guys. Okay, straight off, well, straight off the bat, the one thing I am seeing is you may need to recoup for a minute. You may need to get your bearings. And I think you're trying to take stock of uh, what the next step is to do. Now, for some of you, it might have been some information or transformation has come through. And you, you're really in this recovery mode. You're really in this, okay, I need to tune into this. I need to... Um, really recover, rest, and uh, get your bearings. And this could have been because the ascension process was so heavy. I also feel when it does come to the joint connection, uh, the trials and tribulations you've been through, you could be in recovery zone. You could be quite fatigued from it all and really feeling a little bit, oh, I could say detached, but I'm not so much feeling that. Um, just taking a moment, needing to take a moment to reflect. Some of you are needing to nurture yourselves as we do move into this month. You could, Like I said, we just did move through an eclipse. We're moving towards another one, so gaining your bearings. Um, you could be up in your head quite a bit and, and something might not completely make sense. And I think you're guided to try and step away from that, especially if whatever this conundrum is, be it it's you've been in communication with this individual, information has come in or the ascension process has been too heavy, it does feel like you do need to have a little bit of R&R &R here. I do feel you're looking to the past. And, you know, for some of you, you might have felt that there was progress. For some of you, you might have um, actually received some progress, had some progress, um, a breakthrough of some description. It could have been some information that came towards you. But I do feel when it does come to the past, you are very, very ready to, um, you know, what you're needing, especially in your twin flame path, is progression. And so you're looking to the past and you're saying, okay, uh, is there something on your side of the fence you could tweak? Is there something you could do? Uh, this also could be, is this going to go anywhere? Where is this go going? But I do directly think relating to the past and the future moving forward, especially after moving through the eclipse, I do feel a lot of divine and feminines are really... Uh, meditating upon this factor, recovering and saying, okay, whatever this next mountain is, whatever this next situation is, you are gaining some information from the past in assessing what to do moving forward, but you're in this planning and progression mode. Hmm. You're looking at the bigger horizons. You're expanding your horizons. Some of you are merely saying to yourself, look, there's been stagnation, so therefore I'm quite tired, I'm fatigued, and maybe I need to look outside the box. I do feel this communication coming in. Um, this can be coming, um, this is like wanting to communicate from the heart, looking at your communication style, looking at the shadow side of it. I'm looking at the dark side of this as well, the black and white. This could have been, again, through these cycles, a path you're walking. I'm also intuitively tuning into these. I don't know why I'm hearing a diamond in the rough and, you know, this path moving forward, it does feel like the full card in Tarot. Um, but it's quite circular. Whatever this is, it's circular. It's like you, you could be having flashbacks, but definitely from where you're moving, it's actually going to pay, pick up pace. I do feel some of you could have, um, yeah, you've got to go into your heart with this communication, be it it's the way you're communicating or the other person is, but for some of you, it is communication coming in. And to me, it's appearing to be that it could be something quite positive. I do feel you could be up in your head with this, though. You know, it's almost like that notion when we're, you know, something's too good to be true. Uh, another thing, another way we could interpret this is, especially during a Mercury retrograde, there's always that to be, well, is the person only coming back because it's Mercury retrograde? I feel whatever these things are, they're quite intellectual. My advice would be to uh, try to not be too critical on yourself, but also um, you could you could be shining bright like a diamond. You could have some grand ideas, and I, I do feel they're in their beginning um, infant stage. Mm. 
Okay, we're looking at the cloaked woman moving forward. I'm noticing a lot of green on the card, the oranges and the blue. I do feel this is in relation to communication. But with the five of cups, uh, this can be where there is regrets. Um, you know, maybe some of you are looking at, okay, I regret, um, I re you regret acting in a certain way, um, pessimism, and negative energy. Uh, this also could have been something that you went through already for some of you. But I also feel you could be just really realistic at the moment, especially even if some great information comes in and you're looking at the fact that you're ready to move forward in life. If this person, in fact, is coming through, you're not overly optimistic. And this could be a more rational approach you're attempting to take. It's also um, requesting that you be careful who you're saying things to. <clears throat> It's also saying look outside the box. You could have a limiting belief in this point. There also could be something that you've really outgrown that you're not wanting to do anymore, and this can be totally separate to counterpart, and I really do feel it is. You know, trying to find that zest for life, trying to find the things that actually make you feel more optimistic. You want to see the actions and the words, but it also could be something where you're feeling a little bit down in the dump. And this, again, go back to the crowning energy. It could be because you're fatigued. And so naturally, especially if we're wanting to manifest, we can't really manifest at the highest octane because we need to recover. So our viewpoint towards anything point blank zero can be negative. I do feel if you can rest, you're going to have a breakthrough, especially with the conundrum you're dealing with or a mindset. I, I kind of feel like there's this grand idea that comes in. This can be in relation to the emperor. This can be in relation to love. Okay, who is the emperor here, please? Oh, look, I definitely, oh, okay. Yeah, it could be your mindset change, um, especially if this person has been trying to come in and they're coming in in the evening, or this can be with your ascension process or in the 3D with communication. Something's keeping you up at night as well. This could be, are they going to be able to be the emperor? Are they going to be ascended? Can I trust this person? I think you're going into it, um, like a deer in the woods, you know, very cautiously you're open, but you're also cautious. But where it does come to counterpart or love point blank zero, this can be two people, two parts, or it can be that directly divine masculine has transformed and they are showing up like the emperor. Hmm. Yeah, you're wondering what a divine connection looks like. It's funny because we've got the emperor here and we've got the empress. This is a spiritual connection to say the least. And this can be where the both of you through this path, through even though there has been negative things that have happened, even though there, you're going to have a mental breakthrough, but this mental breakthrough um, it can be something on your side of the fence, but also feel an approach you're going to be able to um, implement is going to give you a better outcome. Yeah, something you spiritually haven't let go of is um, coming up to be readdressed. Let's find out what that is. There's something that hasn't quite, that's another thing. Some of you are just simply thinking, oh, has this karmic cycle ended or are we going to go for another rerun? Um, <clears throat> you'll know. You will directly know. Yeah, it is in relation to divine masculine. You're wondering, you know, is the karmic cycle over? Um, and that can just be with the way they're relating to you. Some of you can just be feeling um, that maybe it's so because they're in a karmic relationship for some, not all. Yeah, you want to say, some of you are going to be deeply surprised. They're actually, um, they potentially can be more open with you and be saying, look, I don't look at you as a friend. I look at you as a lover. I really see this going the distance. And if they have had this massive change of attitude, um, for some of you, that can be very surprising. Others, I do feel you're just meditating upon this and you're really thinking to yourself, okay, if this is a divine connection, um, what am I missing here? Is it to do with healing? Is it to do with um, my attitude towards the connection? I'm very, very tired. How can I persevere forward? I don't want to have to deal with another mountain. I 
think you're going to have to take a tactical approach. I do feel this person is trying to also with you take a tactical approach. I don't think that's like in a malicious malice way. <clears throat> I think with whatever this um, problem is in the mix, I do feel maybe they're communicating it with you. But I also feel with your own personal choices, you're like, okay, I need to step back from the painting. I need to look at this. What is my, and I wouldn't say it's a plan of attack as per se. It's, it's yeah, it's this, um, it's a map. You're, you're mapping your life, but you're wanting to gain success. So you're stepping back and you're intuitively tuning into it. There could have been a little bit of ego involved, which is very common, especially after an eclipse. If there has been hurt between them choosing another person and you, um, this this feels very close. Some of you could be on the precipice of change here. I do feel many of you um, know that you will be willing to work with this person if they can come back um, in a responsible way, looking like they're interested, looking like they're ready to invest in it. And, you, you know, it's almost like I do feel Divine Feminine has a few questions. They're like, okay, I am apprehensive here. I'm ready to walk down that road. I'm open to the road, you know, being clear for me. I know there's a new chapter coming. Which way will I go? What, we, what will be waiting for me, especially after this next moon cycle? What will be waiting for me? But in the mix of it, you kind of know that something here needs to be rethought. Now, I also think you do have some other things going on in your life that are also adding to this. Um, so... How would I explain that? It's not only the divine connection, but it's also personal situations that you have maybe some conundrums with. This could be a business venture. It might be a plan of attack. It could be towards your family or where you directly stand on the map of your life. You're looking to the past here with these grand ideas that have fruition um, possibilities, like fruitful opportunities to come. But you're trying to, in the mix, um, to look at it and go, okay, how can I actually implement these changes for them to be successful? You may need to give it about a week for this to all make sense. But I do feel um, somebody is giving you, again, this came through in one of the Divine Masculine threads. It's almost like you are going to be the star of the show. Um, but there is an old situation that some of you are already aware of that needs to wrap up. That can be within the twin flame path or within an old situation that you're dealing with. Emotionally, these old things can be coming up. And if you're fighting them and avoiding actually addressing them, it can become a little bit difficult where it is going to make you fatigued. So tune into that where it lands. And we will tune into this next week. Come through and join us for the joint connection and see if anything else is revealed. Take care, beautifuls. If you do want the content ahead of the crowd, come through and join the members and you can see the next volume.